Well, we've asked our viewers to send us questions. I'd like to read one of those now. It's a specific question. Um, it costs, according to this viewer, it costs the state approximately $75,000 per year to incarcerate an individual. Many owe thousands to the state, and when a citizen is released from prison and finds a job, his or her wages are garnished, eliminating any sense of hope or sense of future. Would you consider a once-in-a-lifetime debt forgiveness? That's a good question. Thank you for that. Um, would I support, uh, yes, in, in that kind of a case, I certainly would. Um, uh, that was kind of a long question. Uh, could you repeat it? Sure. Yeah, it just talks about how it costs the state $75,000 to, to uh, incarcerate someone, and then when they are released from prison, a lot of the inmates are, that are released have a lot of debt, and the, which he says eliminates any sense of hope or sense for future. Um, would you consider a once-in-a-lifetime debt forgiveness? That's, again, good question. Would, if you're talking about forgiving $75,000 uh, for that incarcerated person, um, they probably, yeah, that would not, it would be very, very difficult for them to be able to pay back in most cases. So um, I'd have to, you know, I really would have to discuss that a little bit further. Um, that's a lot of money to anybody um, but we do need to help our incarcerated while they're in there. But we're talking about mental health and education and training and all those kinds of things. And I'm not talking about brainwashing. It's about helping people to um, come out of those difficult situations and be able to feel secure and wanted in their communities and to be included in their communities. And that debt is a difficult thing for anybody, and it just raises their, their, their feeling of guilt and obligation. And I, I think the whole community would need to surround that individual to help with that. Um, and, you know, depending on what we could come up as a compromise to forgiving that debt to that individual would help them immensely to get back into the workforce and, um, and raising healthy families again. Thank you. Thank you, Julia. Ron? Uh, Dennis, thank you for the question. Uh, and it's very important to think that through. And so as I, as I was going through here and all of the things on that, at face value of your question, we're putting a dollar amount. And we're, you know, I think the way the question is framed or how I would take that is the day they walk out, you have this loaded debt. And oh my gosh, here's someone who hopefully has rehabilitated themselves and they have this debt, what are they gonna do? Well, let's back up a little bit. And the reason why I couldn't support this and unless I had a lot of conversations about it, let's remember this individual that went in probably did a lot of damage to some people's lives. And what's the cost of that? What was the families, depending on the crime? Um, you know, we have different levels of how people get incarcerated. The other thing to remember is during an incarceration period, there's lots of services that we offer for them to be rehabilitated to get the recidivism rate down. Uh, you, you can get degrees, you can get training, you can get skills. So I would hope that, you know, we're, we're trying to boil this down to a really simple scenario, but I would hope in a perfect world that somebody comes in and is able to be rehabilitated, pick up some skills, and then work that debt off just like we would look at somebody that's going through any other skills program. Kids are picking up debt in college. Uh, you have trade schools. You don't go to get to be an electrician to get to be free. So there is a cost, and unfortunately, these individuals, their cost is higher because of the action that got them there. So I look at this, and I have to look at it hard, but I don't think that many families that have suffered at the hands of a criminal action would be really easy to say, hey, let's let them go off scot-free because they do owe society something. Well, I, I totally agree with Ron. That's very good. Thank you. Any other additional comments, Ron? She doesn't have to agree with me all the time. Oh. <laughs> I know we're agreeing a lot, but yeah. that's, that's the mutual respect we have of ideas. That's yeah. good. Yeah.